What's up guys? So today we're going to do a try not to laugh challenge from Thunder Guy and this one is Cutaway Compilation Season 11 part number 8. That last one I did, eh, that was okay. I think the only one that probably broke me probably was the, you know, the gay joke and you know when, Pete, when Peter and when Peter was doing his baby shower, that one was funny. I almost broke on that part. But anyway, let's see if this one can break me. Let's see what happens. But before we do this, remember, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, whether it's reaction videos, try not to love challenges, or any other video for that matter. That I upload every single day so you don't want to miss it, which is why you want to click on the notification bell so that way you guys can get more upcoming videos in the near future. And if there's any videos you guys want to do a reaction or you guys want to do a challenge, just leave it on the comment section down below. All right? Now, it's game time. Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. Yeah, she's working the champagne room. Peter, you're so me. stupid, man. Where am I? You, uh, you ever been to Atlantic City before? Oh, once, about 20 years ago. What? Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! oh thank God. I nearly dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Everybody makes mistakes. Even doctors. You forgot to I say. forgot to say clear. Well, I guess you just never know. Wow. Some people have bottled up. That's crazy. We all got angered, Chris. The important thing is finding a healthy way to chill. For me, as you know, it's the family bath. You know, how long do we have to sit here? Tell I'm not angry anymore, you naked bunch of bitches. Eh, enough time passes, you'll forget all about them. Just like Inspector Gadget forgot about that one night stand. Suzanne, we have to talk. Okay. Someone has made contact with me. Someone from my past. And, well, long story short, no go Guatemalan son. I'm sorry, we're all booked up because the slut convention's in town. Slut convention? Yeah, they were promised a single millionaire, but it's really just a bunch of horny squirrels in a rich guy suit. So, you made your money in business? Where's your room, handsome? <laughs> Besides, if I listen to you guys, I never would have got that job as a seat filler for fetuses. Okay, let's take a look at your baby, shall we? Hi, he'll be right back. He's in the bathroom. Oh, just thinking about it makes me all giddy. Like a group of women ordering dessert. And then we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream and a molten chocolate topping. We'll have one of those with four spoons. More like four of those with one spoon for me. <laughs> They're little, they're little jokes. Mm -hmm. Well, you should hear my prank phone calls. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? What? Why? I don't know. They all kind of look the same. What do you mean, they all look the same? You know, I was so desperate there for a while, I even tried a Jewish club. Uh, you don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They believe in all kinds of weird stuff. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. If I believe in snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, tree Jesus! I don't know, Joe. Sometimes the security's pretty lax. I mean, the last plane I was on got gay jacked. This plane's going to Miami! Of course, it's what he would have wanted. Listen, we all gotta move on. Like the Secret Service did on November 23rd, 1963. All right, guys, I know that yesterday was a rough one for us. But it's with great pride that I'm gonna turn this zero into a one. All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. Wait a minute, maybe not, Brian. I think I just got an idea. Ah, I got glass in my face! Oh crap, now I forgot what it was. 
I got it! Yeah, son of a bitch! Try anything new today? Talk to anyone interesting? No, no, really. Oh, that beef bowl is wrecking me. My stomach feels like that time I had explosive diarrhea. Roundhouse. I knew I should have brought Peter instead of you. Oh, come on, you would have done much worse with him. He's got a terrible tail. Just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> Not overly affectionate. Wow, Brian, you've had quite a string of female guests to spend the night lately. Yeah, whatever you're doing, it's working. You should see the way I have to pick up chicks. Hi. <laughs> What? I'm doing the best I can. I'm not Nathaniel Hawthorne. <laughs> Nathaniel, what are you doing? Just ruining ninth grade for everyone. This is a phone sex operation. I can't do this. It pays two grand a week, sweetie. Oh my god. With that type of money, I can buy pots and pans at William Sonoma. This is a very nice set. You must be a phone whore. You bet your sweet ass I am. Peter, that might be the worst idea anyone has ever had. Well, you're wrong there. The worst idea anyone ever had was silver bullets. Barbara Leibowitz's husband just bought her a diamond brooch. You know how he afforded that? He uses regular he bullets. He uses regular bullets. The History Channel presents Where in World War II is Waldo? Come on, can't you give that giraffe at home another chance? You know, for every one they sell, they save a giraffe in the wild. Sorry, giraffe. They only bought one. Nah, they returned it. What? Griffin, we just had an opening. Congratulations, you are now a member. Oh my god, really? And to think yesterday I was just a guy at home eating catnip. <laughs> was living among wild animals for two months. And you know how impressionable your dad can be. Hmm. Well, I've taken on bigger challenges before. I had to explain to America why Heidi Klum broke up with Seal. Thanks. We now return to Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? Get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! I may have gambled away our plane tickets. You what? How do you even do that? It's Vegas, Brian. You can gamble anything. I'd like to bet my daughter's virginity on 23. I'm sorry, it's 31. Ow! How's it going here? Not great. I know what you mean. We just took a pounding at the craps table. <laughs> Oh, I don't believe it. Hey, congratulations, buddy. You know, you're a lucky guy. The only thing I ever won was an extra day of summer. Okay, Peter. One more day. Yay! I saw what I looked like in a car window, and now I don't want to go. Yeah, look at all this luxury. It's like being in a gay guy's dream. Enjoying the view? It's glorious, Edwin. Would you like another salad bowl of chocolate-covered oysters? Is that gay enough? And then some. This has been the gayest vacation I've ever had. I love smelling me on your breath. And then somebody replaced Meg's sleeping pills with Alka-Seltzer. People are gonna miss me when I'm... <laughs> yeah, even school's getting more dangerous. The bullies have been so busy, they're outsourcing their bullying to India. Hey, lady. Well, there goes my music career. wonder if I can get my old job back, painting kids' faces at birthday parties. There you go, Timmy. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. You're just drawing penises with a sharpie on children's faces. I don't know how Oh my gosh. We now return to Canadian Horror Story.
Hey, hon, we're out of Molson. Oh, not to worry. We've got some Labatt's in the garage. And could you get one for the ghost? Boo, eh? I am going to make this family proud. And not just you guys, but that old painting of my ancestor in the attic. I did it! I'm going to be on TV! Did you kill the others? I shan't! You must. I'm going to go talk to the statue in the basement. Did you kill the painting? This place is a nut house. Ah, look at us, Brian. Frontier people. I feel like those miners who first struck gold in San Francisco. Oh my god, we did it! We struck gold! This is amazing! We're gonna be rich! Rich and gay? Come here! We now return to Bottom Chef. Daniel L., please pack your fudge and go. Fine! Oh, this is unbelievable! I haven't had this much fun since I hosted the Oscars! Good evening. I just want to say that I have the utmost respect for women everywhere, and also the Jews. Good night. No, they, they won't let you down easy like I did. New York can be pretty harsh, especially to the outsiders. Hello, New York! <sighs> Made it. I successfully... I successfully made the challenge. I have succeeded. Yes. This one was okay. The last one I did was better though. The last one, eh, it was a little better. This one, there was a couple of couple ones that were okay, but you know, the other one was better to me anyway. So. Did any of you guys participate in this Try Not To Laugh Challenge? If you did, let me know in the comment section if you pass or if you fail. And if you enjoyed this video, remember, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and share. Alright people, till next time, peace out.